Hi guys, and per usual, I am using my ColourPop Precision Eye Pencil in the shade Coco Coa to sculpt out my eyebrows. To clean my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Prefest Concealer in the shade Medium Dark with an Alamark Cosmetic Lap Brush. I want to apologize in the way that this video starts. Normally, I do an intro, but for this makeup look, I totally forgot and it wasn't until I have uploaded all the footage to edit it that I have realized that I did not film the intro. That is why I go straight up to business um, doing my eyebrows. So again, my apologies and hopefully this will not happen again. To clean the concealer, I am going to use a Morphe concealer brush. Make sure everything is nice and blend. Now to prep my eyes, I'm using the P. Louise base in the shade number 5 and I'm going to mix everything using the same Morphe concealer brush. As you can see, the base is very close to my skin complexion and one thing that I love about this base is that it helps the eyeshadow go on so smooth and so easy to blend and it doesn't feel as sticky on the eye. So the first color that I'm going to take from the Soche palette back color pop is this light brown called Rojo Jewels and I'm going to apply that all over my lid using a Morphe M441. Once everything is nice and blend, I'm going to go to the next shade, which is You Are A Gem. It's like a light orange, and this I'm going to apply it on my lid right on my crease using the M33 by Morphe. To add a little bit of more dimension, I'm going to take the, sh the shade Carnelian, which is like a brick color in between a reddish and an orange, and I'm going to apply that right on my crease using another Morphe 433 brush. and drag that color up and out that way it will give me a wing effect I like how this color applies so nice and smooth and the color itself was very very beautiful Once I had the color the way I wanted it, I went ahead and cut my crease using the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 19. I used the concealer um, because it's a little lighter or a lot lighter than my P. Louise base. I wanted to use something lighter because the color that I was going to apply is really, really light. I cut the crease all the way kind of like give it that wind effect to the concealer as well that way I can apply the eyeshadow in the shape of the concealer
the shade that I'm going to use to apply in my crease is the shade Peridot. It's kind of a gold in between a gold and an olive color. Um, as you can see in the beginning, I was having a little bit of trouble applying the shade. It was not just transferring. Um, but once I wet the brush, I was able to pick up the eyeshadow and just apply it very easy all over my lid. That's, this is how we're looking so far now to give it an extra pop of color I wanted to use the color pop BFF eyeliner in the shade punch which is a bright yellow and I applied that right of where I cut the crease and what about half a little over a half of my eyelid And to be honest, this was not an easy tag. The eyeliner was just not applying it smooth. And it took me a long, long time to create um, that effect. That I ended up using something else to go over it because I feel like it was not the pop that I was looking for. So this is how the look is looking so far now I'm going to take the NYX epic in eyeliner and I'm going to attempt to do a wing um, one thing that you will notice is that I struggled a little bit using the epic in which normally doesn't happen it just the liner was not wanting to transfer on top of the eyeshadow I honestly don't understand why uh, therefore I ended up switching to uh, Sephora um, eyeliner um, a black one of course and finishing the look using that and I went ahead and not only did I drag the wing a little bit out too much but I also added like a effect on top and I dragged it a little bit it was like a three-fourth of my eye That's how the look was looking so far. Then I went ahead and finished my eye off camera and also applied my lashes from ColourPop and the Style Baddie. For primer, I'm using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I love this primer because it does fill in my pores and it makes the foundation look so nice and smooth. On top of that, it's very inexpensive. The foundation that I'm going to be using today is the Born to Glow by NYX in the shade Honey. I love this foundation because it's not super dewy. It does have luminosity and it makes your skin look glowy but not too much. And on top of that it has great coverage for the price and it just leaves your skin looking very smooth and radiant but without giving you the oily effect.
concealer, I decided to go with the Tarte Shape Concealer in the shade Medium Dark. I love this concealer so much and yes, it is pricey, but it's definitely worth it. To blend the concealer as well as my foundation, I'm using uh, the Morphe sponge. I'm just a regular Morphe sponge and I really really like this sponge. It's very easy to use. It's just a little bit harder than the e.l.f. But overall, I like how it applies my makeup. I like how it distributes everything. Um, so yeah, definitely a must have. my skin is looking pretty flawless now to set everything I'm going to use the collab set the stage ultra fine loose setting powder in the shade sand beige sure I apply that setting powder all over what I apply my concealer and then I go ahead with whatever is on the sponge and just apply and try to set the rest on my face with it Now to bronze my face, I'm going to use my all-time favorite butter bronzer by Physician Formula in the shade Endless Summer. I love this bronzer. It smells so good and it's just the perfect shade. Not too dark, not too light. With the same bronzer, I kind of go ahead and contour my nose. I take a small brush um, and I just apply that on my nose and kind of snatch my nose a little bit. blush I'm going to go with the real hair be fearless be limitless palette um, and I'm going to take the shade limitless and I'm going to apply that all over my cheekbones <laughs> To finish your eye look, I'm going to go back to the shade Carmelian, which is the darker brown kind of brick color. Um, and I'm going to apply that um, using a small brush very, very close to my waterline. that extra pop I'm going to take the color pop BFF jet liner in the shade poppy and add it to my waterline and I went ahead back again with the shade carmelian and just added a little more under my waterline now for my bottom lashes I'm going to go with the Hank and Henry a slick with it mascara in the shade cloud and I like the mascara because it has a very, very small applicator, which it makes it so easy to apply. Highlighter, I went with the pure bronze and brighter palette. And I went ahead and took the middle shade, which is the shade named Alter Glow. I like this highlighter because it gives you like that wet effect. Um, and it's nice and golden. I love me a gold highlighter. The same highlighter for my top lips as well as the inner corner of my eye and my brow bone. 
I don't know if you can see a difference but I did end up adding the ColourPop metallic liquid liner in the shade Gold Rush on top of that yellow um, eyeliner it was just not doing it for me and this is how we're looking so far for my lips I'm using this John to blue lip liner in the shade brown sugar then I'm using the ColourPop lip stick in the shade Taurus which is a nice brown and on top I'm going to add a little bit of the gloss bomb by Fenty in the shade Diamond Milk just to give it that extra glossy look to my lip and to set everything I'm going to use my Morphe X Jeffrey Star setting spray which is smell delicious it smells like straight strawberries and this is the look completed it looks uh, stunning and it's super super simple um, don't forget if you like the video give the video a thumbs up if you're new to my channel and you like what you see hit the subscribe button and nothing with this being said it will be on to the next one Oh, 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 oh,